everybody, thanks for joining me today on this behind the scenes bonus process video lesson. It's a solo guitar arrangement for I'll See You In My Dreams. Let's get started. Uh, let's take a look at it here with you. And if you're new to Sound Slice, this is gonna be an important lesson for you on just some of the things that, cool things that you can really do on Sound Slice. Okay, so basically the idea here is I'm mixing and matching some inversions on the top four strings, some uh, grip chord shapes, some shell shapes. You might see three note ways. So let's go ahead and get some tabs here on the rhythm, okay? And if you don't read this, the notes, you can even get rid of the notes. Look at that, it's just tabs. But I like to, oh, look at that, <laughs> there's no tabs. Uh, so you can you control what you see here. I want to see that, and I want to see the lyric too. I love knowing the lyric here, and I'm going to get rid of the settings here. And we can always just push play and just listen to what I wrote here. Let's check it out. <laughs> on top. Okay, so the melody is, I'll see you in my dreams. You know, I always say learn the melody first. Just know the melody and hopefully you you went to my other video which is just the melody. <laughs> just play along with it with me on the melody. Okay, so um, that's important to do. So for chord melody, we want to support it with some harmony. And that's just all the B flat major chord. Sometimes it was major triad. Sometimes it was a major six, as the melody is in the six. Sometimes it was a major seven. That's still all a major chord, okay? B flat major, major six, major seven, major six nine, major nine. It's still just major. So, and then there's a B flat minor six chord. The B flat minor would be this, but we want the six in the melody. So far we have, I'll see you in my dreams. Three, four, one, two, three. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that next phrase, that's called side slipping. I mean, you can think of it as the uh, lower neighbor or approach note is a common name for that. Okay, so I'll hold, so that's major seven, E major seven to F major seven. I'll hold F six nine. Okay, and that's just a beautiful major style chord. Here's a full F six nine. So this is actually rootless. And that's on the fifth degree. That's one of my hacks there. And then on the E seven here, you can hit the low E if you want. And then a flat seven to the root, that's just a triad. But instead of changing shapes, I'm just holding this one shape. And then F6. And if you, if you wanted to fatten it up, you could put the bass there. So that was. Three, four, one. You could play a minor seven flat five, and that gives you a nine flavor. Really inside flavor. Just all G, G9 chords essentially, and then to continue on with that, here's an inversion. Okay, a lot of chords, a lot of it's pretty fancy again. And if this, if you don't like this voicing for minor six, which a lot of people don't, you just do a three note voicing here. Okay, <laughs> that's the cheap and easy way of doing it. Just think of G7 like this and put D in the bass, and it's a D minor six three note voicing. So still, I feel the and then we have G minor nine, thrill, because that's the melody note. The shell, the, the bass and the melody of the chord shape that I happen to be on, B flat six. Again, you could do major seven if you wanted to. And then I hit the inner notes, so it sounds like I'm going boom, chuck, boom, chuck. Okay, or I could just go. I did have that on there. It's darker. The shapes are right there. So if you read the tabs or you read the chord shapes, that's up to you. But on this part here, the minor four chord to the D7, which is the five. That was just a plain old A triad. You can even add this in, then diminish it. And then on the word night, that's what I call a chromatic cliche. Um, you might pluck that out like this. 
And then to finish it, I'll see B flat six again. I just, Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's mini lesson on the solo guitar arrangement for I'll See You in My Dreams. Please check out Patreon where I have all of my lessons, including sound slice practice videos, bonus video lessons, and a lot more. We'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.